Thank you for tuning in to Snake Diet Larry's Powerlifting Channel. My name is Snake Diet Larry, or Larry Malchuff. I'm Snake Diet Larry on Instagram. Uh, and today I want to talk to you about why I scrapped the lose weight gradually routine to lose weight quickly on the snake diet. I was attempting for the longest time, I'm talking about years, man, three to four years to lose one to two pounds a week. And I was failing at it, and that's okay to fail, but here's what the problem was. I would fail and I would emotionally eat. So instead of failing and staying at the weight where I failed at and getting lighter and failing and getting lighter and failing and getting lighter and failing, if I was to fail, I would fail, I would lose a little weight, fail, and then I would gain more weight. And then I would lose a little more weight and fail and gain more weight. So I was getting wider, man. My mom had a stroke during this process of me expanding and thinking that I was, you know, I was okay to power lift and, and eat whatever I wanted. And my mom had a stroke because she was overweight. And um, she had like three strokes all at once in the middle of the night. And that was what turned the light bulb on for me that my approach wasn't working. And so I was scouring YouTube. I stumbled across the Snake Diet channel. I said, holy crap, maybe I should try this. And it taught me what I needed most because I was going to the gym. I did have great diet plans written out, but the emotional toll of me failing was causing me to emotionally eat and eat tons of sugar. And that was, you know, it was just putting, just putting body fat on me, just mass amounts of body fat on me so rapidly that instead of losing that weight, that one to two pounds a week, I was gaining five to six a week. And in no time flat, I was 400 freaking pounds. I was like, wait a minute, I've completely gone in the wrong direction. And, uh, and I didn't even know it at the time when I was doing the snake diet that I was gaining mental strength. That's what I needed. Today, yesterday I realized, a woman asked me, well, is the snake diet sustainable? And thank God we were in a, uh, in a seminar because, because I really didn't have my thoughts together on, on, on this particular um, moment when someone asked me about sustainability and what you learn how to sustain is you learn how to sustain your mental powers over food. You learn how to sustain your emotional stability. Okay? In stability, there is sustainability, right? You have to be emotionally stable for any diet plan, for any plan of attack to work. But you need a solid plan. And the snake diet is a solid plan because it's not something new. It's just a way for you to tap into your own body fat through denying yourself food, drinking salt water to keep your electrolytes in balance so that you can fast longer. So you have more mental stability. That's what I needed. That was the one piece of the puzzle that was missing was mental strength, emotional strength. I didn't have it. Dear God, I didn't have it. So, I'm so happy I made these weight loss charts because I'm going to bring one to your attention. Here's March 2018 when I began in a body weight 378. Okay? Here I am, 378. And this is my weight dropping. All right? At the end of March, um, March 31st, I was 340. No, I was 330. Eight pounds, somewhere around that. Okay, here, look. Right here, I don't know if it's gonna come into focus, but here are the numbers, okay? Here's my body weight. Right here at the very bottom, that is 339 pounds. I started up here at 378 pounds. See how the numbers just drops? But see how the, the number will spike a little bit? This is every time I broke a fast. That's every time I ate, I would get a spike. So why is the spike significant? This is the thing that I wanted to the, that I wanted to say to the woman yesterday who asked me, and here it is. When your stomach is empty and you weigh 330 pounds, let's say, like when I was 330 pounds and I broke a fast, let's say, let's just say I'm 330 pounds, or a person is 330 pounds and they're on an empty stomach. They've been fasting for five, six days, right? 
just drinking salt water. They're in the zone, but it's time to break the fast for whatever reason. And they weigh 330 pounds. They're going to eat, if they eat what I ate, they would eat like a steak, potato, vegetables, and they would drink, when all said and done, maybe about a liter and a half to two liters of water. That's going to put five pounds on them. They're going to jump on the scale before they eat. This is what I would do. I would jump on the scale. I would say, okay, uh, I weigh 300, uh, let's use the chart, 355 pounds. I would eat. I ate. I went up from 355 to 358. Right? Let's just take a look at it right here. Okay, so 355. Here I am, 355, right there, right? I eat, I go to 358. Then I go on another fast. And this, in this particular fast, after I broke it, you know, I ate again, and weight would go up. But this fast right here was how many days? This fast was one, two, three, four, five, five days. So I, I was 355 when I started. I made it to 358 after I ate. And then in five days, I was 346. That was 12 pounds in five days. And then I'd eat again, but I only went up to 351. And then I dropped, and then I did another five day fast, and at the end I was 340. See, so your weight's gonna, it's gonna drop, it's gonna rise when you eat a little bit because food and water have weight. Then it drops again, then it rises, then it drops. If you're consistent and you're getting mental strength through that, emotional power over food, you're gaining control over your life. That's why I chose to go fast. Now, let's say I did the one pound a week approach. It's for only four weeks in a month. I started at 378. That's, by the end of the month, I would have been, at that approach, i had been 374 pounds. I don't know about you, but I would rather be 338 pounds instead of 378 by the end of a month. Right? I lost 32 pounds in that month instead of four. And... I didn't have to deal with the emotional wreckage of constantly failing to lose one to two pounds a week, getting all emotionally pent up and going and overeating, right? Okay, when your stomach is empty and you fill it up with food, you're only gonna gain a little bit of weight and then you go right into another fast and that food is done and it's, 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 it's gone, it's over with. Your body's used it up and then you just ride it out, man. Ride it out, lose some more weight, lose some more weight. That's why we jump on the scale. I know these numbers because I kept jumping on the scale. I didn't fear the scale. It gave me, it gave me data that I never could get by the other approach, which was to lose weight slowly, okay? Uh, today I weigh 250 pounds. When I was done at the end of the six month period, okay, right? I was 219 pounds, all right? It's 219 pounds. There are, you know, this, this whole chart here, this just shows that you know, right here I was, 200, I was 219 pounds, okay? This is a dry fast month where I was dry fasting a lot, all right? Now, I was 219 at the end of that month. But I had to gain the weight back in water, okay? Because you just can't walk around dehydrated. Dry fasting, you just can't sustain a dry fast, okay? I was 219. Let's say I was just 220, all right? Then I, I had to drink three gallons of water back, right? That's 24 pounds. That brought me to 244, all right? Today, I'm 250. That was a year ago because it's almost September now. Okay, so I've kept that weight off for a year. And if I wasn't powerlifting, trust me, I would be, I would be mega lean, super lean. But right now, powerlifting, it's a different thing. Okay, that's a whole other topic. But my muscle bellies are full, right? I've gained in muscle, right? 
I lose weight faster now if I want to do a fast than I ever did before. Because muscle burns fat, man. I've gained some muscle because I go and I train hard. But this is why I chose the fast approach for so many other reasons. Mostly it was because, it, you know, I've just discovered it gave me mental powers that I never had before. Okay, so if you're new to the channel, I've got a ton of videos for you to watch where my mental strength, me growing in mental strength, is demonstrated for the last year and a half. You can go right back to my very first video. I've posted a ton of videos. You can watch me shrink before your very eyes using the snake diet, powerlifting, working out like, like, a, like a silly little freak. And I've got tons of these charts for you to, for you to go ahead and look at. There's, every month I did a video. There's, there's like 12, there's 12, there's 12 of these videos out there where I, where I talk about my weight loss that I, I logged it every single day. Okay, I have the experience. I can help you out. I can't coach right now because I'm starting a new career and holy crap, my time's getting ready to be all spoken for. So I can't devote the time needed to coach like I would really like to, but I have to get this career going because I got to keep a roof over my head, guys. But look, if I haven't sold you on, on the snake diet, then I'll probably never sell you, all right? But if you want that mental strength, if you want that power that you don't have, if you're looking for that emotional power like I did, maybe you might want to try fasting because you'll get it. And if you want it to the one millionth degree, you'll give this snake diet a chance. And in the process, you are going to just blow your mind away at, at how awesome this, this, this fasting protocol is. Okay, guys, I got to talk uh, with you another time because I got to go train and then I got uh, some work to do. Uh, for, uh, for 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 uh, for my classes, and I will talk with you later. Thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, share the videos, and have a great day. Bye.